Hello everyone. This is going to be part two to the video that I made yesterday. Um, yesterday I made a video of me putting away my girl groups and boy groups collections. And then I said I was going to make a separate video for my twice binder because I was adding a new person to the collection. Um, so I ended up filming that entire video of me adding back into my collection. I made the entire video. I was watching the footage back and the footage was so unbelievably boring because it was just me putting fillers in pages and then every once in a while I was like, oh, this is a new card by the way. Um, so I oh, just kicked my trash. So I decided to refilm it, but not obviously unset up and then reset up everything. Everything's still set up for Daihyun in here now, but I just took out all the cards that I added yesterday and I'm just gonna re-put them in here for this, for the purposes of this video. Um, and also kind of just show you how I set up my binder for Daihyun now. So um, it'll go much faster, it'll be way less boring and just better overall. And I got a new tripod stand today, so I'm testing it out by filming this video. So um, here's my twice binder. I'm currently using a one and a half inch binder, but I did realize quickly yesterday that I am gonna have to expand into a two inch binder, especially twice is gonna be having a comeback anytime soon because we have like this much wiggle room to grow um, and it's already hard enough to turn the pages. So definitely for their next comeback or literally just the next time I go to Walmart, I'm gonna buy a two inch white binder and just move all these pages into that. For now, this one and a half inch will be fine, but literally there's zero growing room, so. When I was taking out the cards that I had already added yesterday, I was too lazy to put fillers back in because I already threw away like the sticky notes and stuff and I just didn't want to waste the time by putting in like white sleeves because it doesn't matter anyway because I'm just going to take them out. So you can just imagine um, that I'm taking out little white fillers in the place of um, the cards. So, so that being said, let's just go ahead and get started. This is the stack that we're working with today. Not much, but it's something. It's decent. Um, so as you can probably tell by this first page, I do have it set up for The Story Begins. I'm collecting, in case you didn't already know, I'm collecting Nayeon, Sana, and Daehyun. So for this first page, I do just have Sana's adult card. And I actually, I'm pretty sure, yeah, I have both of her other cards on the way as well. So I just need to finish this one kid card for Nayeon and then like make any progress on Daehyun. For page two, I actually have... Daehyun's, I guess, A card. I don't know what you would call that. Um, because I pulled this in my page two album, actually. So that goes there. Sorry, the full lighting is a little bad. It is kind of dark in this corner, but that's okay. I also have Sana's lenticular here. And then for this page, I actually have these three cards on the way, so I'm only missing Daehyun's lenti, and then this page will be done, which is exciting. Um, oh, also, the sauna that I have is one of the manufactured, like, misprint ones. I've seen a lot of these on Instagram, actually. Um, some of sauna's page two lenticulars were, were accidentally printed with Chaeyoung's initials instead of the SM that should be here. Um, which is fine. If I ever, like, maybe see one for, up for sale that doesn't have that misprint, maybe I'll buy it. But for now, it doesn't bother me too much, so I'll just leave it. For this page, I do have something <laughs> actually really exciting. I'm just gonna show it. Ah! Yeah, I do have the Devil My Own card. That I did overpay for this card, but to me, it was worth it. So I'm not even gonna be mad or complain about it at all. But yeah, that does go here. Um, so now the next thing on my agenda is to get, no wait, Bunny Dahyun. <laughs> so that'll be something else. I also think it's funny that I was able to get Devil My Own faster than I was able to get her hollow. Um, I could have bought her hollow, but I think people overpriced these hollows. I don't know. I think twice close to line one as an album is overall overpriced. But anyway, for twice close to line two, I don't have anything, but I guess you can kind of just take a peek at how I have it set up. So I have twice close to line two and then the start of signal because twice close to line two has two cards and then signal has four cards. So I was like, why not utilize that space and just make them share pages? So I have it set up so that it's pink border, yellow border, pink border, and then just the rest of the signal cards here. And then twice to gram. So these are like, <laughs> this is like this section of albums right here that I don't have any albums for, so I don't have any of their cards. But yeah, I don't have anything for twice to gram, nothing for Marion Happy, 
what is love? So this is the first one is love page. Um, I guess you can kind of just see how I have it set up here. I can get my iPad actually, and that might be fun. So to figure out what cards I wanted together on like which pages, I took oh, these templates. Let me find what is love. I took these templates, blocked out everyone who I wasn't collecting, obviously, and then marked off the OT9 sets I'm collecting. And I figured out which cards I liked, like which cards I thought looked best together. Um, and then just put them down by like their page number. So page one, two, 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 one, three, 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 one. And that's what we have here. So for what is love, um, I do have the food cards, the scratch cards, and then this is one of the name cards here. And then we've got the what is love logo, the other name card, and then the twice logo. So nothing on this. Oh, actually, I lied. I was going to say there's nothing on this page, but literally there's a line right there. Um, for this page, I do have the letter cards, the color border cards, and then the heart cards. So these layouts might um, change eventually, obviously, because once I see all the cards together, that's when I'll really be able to tell what I like and what I don't like. But for now, this is kind of just how I have it set up. Um, nothing for my OT9 sets, but I did end up picking up a couple more OT9 sets for select albums because I decided I didn't want to double side the scratch cards anymore, as you can tell. Oh, wait. <laughs> As you can tell, so I had to pick up another OT9 set for that, and then I chose the signature set for the What is Love one that I'm going to pick up. Then Summer Nights, I have nothing new for Summer Nights. It's the same deal as What is Love, though. I just went based on what I thought looked good. So if you really care about the layout that I have, you can just read the little notes that I have underneath. And then I also picked up another Summer Nights set, so um, the set that I picked up originally was their signature set and then this one's going to be their dance the night away set the one that says dance the night away in the corner so um for yes or yes i actually do have a card for this page i have sana's balloon card which will go up here and then nothing else new for these ones oh i lie <laughs> oh yeah i got this dahyun with the yes in the corner and this actually is the first complete row that I have in this entire binder, I'm pretty sure. So that's exciting. This is like a kind of little, this is kind of like a little glimpse into what it's going to look like, like the rest of my binder is going to look like when I fill up the pages. Um, nothing on this page. I do have red dye hand on the way. And then for this one, I also have just this dye hand here. And that goes right here. All right. Nothing new. Oh, this is actually a new card. I forgot to pull it out. Let's pretend that that wasn't there when you just looked at it. Okay. We're putting also, <laughs> we're also putting away this um, Jungyun card for my OT9 set. I completely forgot about that. All right. For Year of Yes, I'm having it in this sort of layout so that all the Yes or Yes pages are viewable at once because I thought that would look the best. Um, if you watch any like OT5 ITZY collectors, I feel like this is a popular way to lay out OT5 ITZY. I figured it's also a good way to lay out the five cards that come with Yes or Yes. Or sorry, Year of Yes. And then this is the one Year of Yes card that I do have. So I'll put that here. Yay! Um, for Fancy You, I do have a couple new cards. I do have this Signature Man, which I got in a sale. This page, I have another, my on this one's letter, and then this one is Fancy Sana. So these go here and here. And then this last page, I did pull this Pink Border Daihyun in my Fancy You album. And I also pulled Ring Pop Mayon in my Fancy You album which is so exciting because that card would have been hard to get and I already have to worry about getting these two. So at least I pulled something, at least I pulled one of them. All right, nothing new here. For Feel Special, I do have one Sana card and it goes right here in the middle. Yeah, pretty cool. I don't think those are new. I don't think, I don't think any of those are new. Nothing on this page. Uh, nothing on this page. 
Oh, and I am picking up a second OT9 set for Feel Special as well because um, the gold card, I didn't want to double side the gold card anymore. So I'm picking up the one that everyone collects, that like Polaroid one with the different colors. Um, that was the one I was going to originally collect actually, but I was like, no, it's going to be hard because everyone collects it. Let me pick like another one that I like a lot. And so I picked this one, but I just couldn't resist it. I figured like it's not going to be that hard. It's not like they're, <laughs> it's not like I'm collecting Ring Pop. OT9 or I'm collecting twice closer in one OT9 it's like that'd be impossible but more and more I have nothing on this page but I think these look cool like I don't know this page looks almost complete oh, wait. I was gonna say I have this card on the way but I think that's a lie I don't know what I have on the way anymore I do have this card for Daihyun so that completes the second row of all the like the members that I collect, which is exciting. I think this page looks cool. It looks balanced because I have nothing up here and nothing down here. So um, for this page, I do have this Daihyun selfie, which goes here. So yay. All right. And then for eyes wide open, I do have nothing on this page and nothing on this page, but I do have Daihyun's table card which goes here, and that's one of the new ones I got today, which is why I have to take out the the filler. And this is kind of be gonna this is gonna be the messy page because this is the page where um, Mayan has the weird card, and then Sana has the weird card here. So, you know, I tried to make it work as best as possible, but these two had to ruin it. Perfect little angel Dahyun did not do a single thing wrong. She followed the rules on all of them. <laughs> um, and then for this set, I actually also have. Dahyun's card. So I think it's funny that I have like my top three for this OT9 set, despite the fact that I like, I don't know. <laughs> you know, you know, you know what I mean though? Like, um, I'm actually excited about this set. I think it's gonna look cool. Except for Momo kind of ruins it because she kind of has the odd one out card, but I think it's fine. It's just horizontal. Um, for Taste of Love, it's already complete. Taste of Love was already complete before I had even picked up Dahyun or anything. Um, and I actually do complete formula of there is a, I don't know if you can see that, a cat hair in this photo card. <laughs> Did I get it? I do actually finally complete Formula of Love today. Not only for like my top three, but for the OT9 sets that I was collecting in the back two. So I'm really excited. So my last like, I don't know, what's that going to be? Six, eight pages of this binder are going to be fully complete. So I'm super excited. So I have result file. Dahyun, which goes here and completes this in- oh, never mind. I was gonna say it completes this entire page, but that's a lie, because I also have this full of love Dahyun. It was just hard to tell because I already took the filler out because I put this card away yesterday. <gasps> Yay! This page is complete. Oh my gosh. I don't even know what to do. I'm gonna have to post this on my Instagram. Um, and then I have Explosion Dahyun here. Um, this card was actually- oh wait. Okay, wait. I also have scratch card. Let me put scratch card away first, just because it's in the middle. And then I have explosion Dahyun. And this card was actually hard for me to find. I don't know if it's just because like the week that I was looking for it, no one was posting it up for sale. But I could not find this damn card <laughs> for the life of me. And then here it is. Oh my gosh, this page is so cool and pink. And then I have my OT9 set that I already have complete. And then this OT9 set that I already have complete. And then... Jihyo ID number one, which completes this OT9 set, and Jihyo ID number two, which completes this OT9 set! I'm so- oh, and this is my units page, because if you'll remember in my last video, I had these three on the page with my, uh, my Nyon and my Sana collections, and then these two, or these four were just on the back, um, because in case you don't know, I keep all the units from the members that I collect even if I don't technically collect the units. If I pull their units, I'll just hang on to them. So that's what this page is. I do need to put these, because these ones are actually in like the bad Ultra Pro cards pockets or whatever. Um, should I do that now? You know what, I will. Because next time I go to Entertain Mart, Entertain Mart, by the way, is my local entertainment store. Dart, oh my gosh, my cat's eating my charger. Stop it! Entertain Mart is my local entertainment store. Um, and they sell K-pop albums, and they also sell, like, binder supplies. Like, they sell card sleeves and nine pocket pages, eight pocket pages, stuff like that. 
Um, mostly it's supposed to be for like Pokemon cards. <laughs> but um, so look how flimsy these pages are. Because these ones I bought at Target. But my good ones are the ones that come in the box that you can get on Amazon or at Entertain Mart. So next time I go to Entertain Mart, I'm going to buy some because I think I'm down to like my last few now. Anyway, if you have an entertainment art near you and you're a K-pop fan, I would definitely recommend it. They have some everywhere. And Dart, my cat is right there in my window, so you need to get out of the way. Um, different stores have, like, different stocks. Like, you can check online if you go to, like, Entertainment Art's website and you type in any album. You can see what stores have that album. And just by doing that, I can tell that the Entertainment Art in Tulsa, Oklahoma is stocked. So if you live in Tulsa, Oklahoma and you don't know about your Entertainment Art, your local Entertainment Art, I would have hit that up because, dude, according to their website, they have every single K-pop album that ever existed. Um... But yeah, there's Entertainment Arts, according to their website, all over America. And so if you're a K-pop fan, I would hit it up. The more K-pop fans we get going to Entertainment Art, the more that they'll stock up on K-pop albums, which is good for us because, you know, supply and demand. They're like, oh, these guys like K-pop. Let's get more K-pop albums. All right. And that's that. That is that. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it was way shorter than my last one. And I hope it's definitely going to be way shorter than the video that I filmed yesterday of me literally just putting, like, just imagine me doing this for literally, like, two hours. Okay, I put it in the wrong spot. Okay, imagine me doing this. Imagine me doing this for literally two hours. Can you see my cat in the corner? Don't get away! Okay. Anyway, that's literally what that whole video was, and I was like, this is boring, because I'm not even talking that much, and when I was talking, it was me complaining about something, or me just, like, figuring stuff out, like, I was just thinking about out loud a lot. Anyway, that's it. So, the next time that you see this binder, hopefully it'll be a two-inch binder. Also, hopefully, I'll have a new cover. I need to make a new cover desperately, because I hate how this one looks. It's too short. I don't know why I trimmed it. That's it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all later.